Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here, and I'm back with another widget widget tutorial, back to basics. Now, I've done this video because in my comments section, I'm getting a lot of questions on how do I do the basics, like add a widget to my home screen, or if I don't want to do any editing, how can I just add basic widgets to my device? So I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. So you always start on the create page and you can see quite a lot of widgets in mine, but that's where all your widgets will be stored. We're going to go over to the explore page. Now you can see all these widgets. These are pre-made. You can filter them by pressing filter and selecting the one you want, like date and time. And you can also sort them by size and category. So we're going to choose a large widget. So this will just reduce your search and that you can see there's so many, but we're just going to select a nice and simple one in the top right here. And this page will tell you about the widget. Some have a lot of data, some don't. This is obviously quite simple, so there's not an awful lot of information. And we're going to press import widget. Now we're just going to quickly go over back to the create page. And if we scroll down to imported, you're going to see the widget that we've imported there. Now at this stage, if you do want to edit it, you can select it and then press edit widget, but we're not going to do that today. So we're going to click back at the top and then go over to the manage page. Now this widget is a transparent widget, so you do have to set up transparency. So in the top right, click set up transparency. And now what we're gonna have to do is go back to the home screen and take a screenshot. So we're gonna close the app and we're gonna hold our finger down and we're gonna go into jiggle mode. Then we're gonna scroll over to a blank screen and take a screenshot. Now that's saved to the photos, we can go back to Widgie and we're just going to tap add wallpaper and select our screenshot and I'll just do it in dark mode also you don't have to but it's worth doing now once the images are generated we've just got a little bit more admin to do so we're going to go to agenda sources at the top and you can select the calendars and reminders you want and then date language and select your language there's also some further settings which you can set up if you wish so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our manage page and because we're selected a large widget, we're going to scroll down and choose a large slot. Now you'd usually have the top slot available if you were new to the app, but obviously I've got pre-made widgets already. So we're going to select large seven as that's currently free and we're going to scroll down to our imported widget. Now this page is where the transparency magic happens and you're just simply going to select where you want to put that widget on your home screen. Once you've selected, you'll now see that slot seven is filled with your chosen widget. So we're now gonna go back to the home screen and we're gonna go back into jiggle mode. We're gonna press the plus button in the top left and because Widgie doesn't have a app name, we're gonna scroll down and Widgie will be there at the top. So we're gonna select Widgie and then we're gonna to scroll to our selected slot. In my case, it's large widget seven. So we'll scroll over until we see the widget we chose and we're gonna press add widget at the bottom. And now you have your chosen widget on your home screen. If you are interested in learning a bit more about Widgie, I have a wide range of videos showing you how to edit, further navigation and the settings and stuff like that. So feel free to watch my Widgie Basics episode one video and start there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.